Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I want to welcome you back to another ad edition of your Adrenal Fix. Today I wanted to talk to you about adrenal fatigue and brain fog. And so let's talk about that because I had it myself when I suffered with adrenal fatigue. I couldn't find where I was placing my keys every morning, couldn't find where I put my wallet, couldn't remember things that had happened. Uh, although my long-term memory was good, my short-term memory was just in the tank. Where was my car when I came out of the um, shopping mall, being in the middle of a conversation and not remembering um, what I was going to say, all that kind of stuff. And I'm sure if you've suffered with an adrenal fatigue problem, then you may have had some of these brain fog issues as well. So let's talk about that. So first things first is, and you've seen in some of my other videos, the ACTH test and the morning cortisol test is not going to tell you how your cortisol rhythm is doing. And that's very, very important to relate back to brain focus and memory. And what I mean by that is your, your circadian rhythm should be when we see light in the morning, we should have a lot of energy. And when it's dark at night, we should be starting to wind down. And we are really programmed or engineered to be on a circadian rhythm. And nothing is more exact than being on a circadian rhythm on how your cortisol levels go. So cortisol levels should be high in the morning and low in the afternoon and evening. And if there's any dysregulated rhythm to that, so it's low, then high, then low then high or high then low then high then low or high high low low or low low high high if there's any rhythm disruptions then we know that there's a problem with your circadian rhythm and let's talk about that so first things first is this one here is going to be a urinary test and this one here is going to be a saliva test I like both of them because you're taking your sample at different times of the day. In the urine one, you're taking it at nighttime, actually at dinner time, uh, before you go to bed, when you first wake up, and two hours later. Whereas in, in, the, um, in the saliva sample, you're taking it first thing in the morning, in the afternoon, in the late afternoon, and at nighttime. So you really get an idea on how your curve should go or how your rhythm should look like. And any deviation outside of these lines is going to mean you're going to have a hippocampal integrity problem. That's a mouthful, but basically what that means is your circadian rhythm, which is which is um, controlled by your hippocampus, which is inside your temporal lobe, um, is responsible for getting the output of cortisol at certain times of the day, so it's high in the morning and low at night. And if there's any deviation of that, then we know that that hippocampal integrity or the circadian rhythm where it's wound inside of the temporal lobe in the brain is not working very well. And that could be because of cortisol um, dysregulation from blood sugar being too high or too low, missing meals chronic stress, environmental toxicities, all of that is going to impact the inflammatory area in the hippocampus. And when that happens, your rhythm is off. So we may have someone who's really high, then low, then low, and then low. And their rhythm is off. And the first question I'll ask them is, tell me about your memory. And they're like, oh my goodness, my memory stinks. Or someone may be really low, and then I see high, and then low, and low. So and their rhythm is off. And I say, tell me about your memory, and their memory is off. And so what that means is that the hippocampus is not firing properly. And you're not gonna find that on a morning cortisol test or on an ACTH stimulation test, both of which mo majority of the time, you're being told that you're normal, that there's no such thing as, as adrenal fatigue, and your memory sucks. And that's because your hippocampus is not being modulated properly. Another thing that we can talk about is the HPA axis, and that's basically the sure quantity or how much cortisol are you pr producing in a given day. If it's really low, then we know that that hippocampus ac or the HPA axis is not working very well. So um, that's a whole other video, but basically what I wanted you to get from this video was that if you have brain fog, then there's a good chance that your hippocampus is not working properly and you're not outputting cortisol high, low, lower, lowest during the day. It may be off and you may have crashes in the middle afternoon, you may get surges of energy, and really what we need to do is figure out what's dragging down the adrenals. And typically things like viruses like Epstein-Barr virus, cytomegalovirus, herpes simplex virus, those things will drain your adrenals really, really badly. Or things like heavy metal toxicities, gut breakdown, H. pylori infections, 
Those things will break down your adrenals really badly to the point where your hippocampus integrity is not outputting the proper amounts of cortisol throughout the day and you get brain foggy. So hopefully you got a lot out of this, um, out of this um, your edition of Adrenal Fix. If you like what I heard, please give me a share, a comment, a like. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get all my updates. Check out my Facebook page at Adrenal Fatigue Society and also be sure to check out my blog at adrenalfatiguesociety.com. My name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I am an adrenal fatigue recovery ninja and I look forward to helping you recover with your adrenal fatigue nightmare. Thank you so much.